hello everybody. My name is Jonathan Newby. I am uh, from Meridian, Idaho. Um, and I am a business finance major. Um, some things I like to do in my free time, I like fly fishing. Um, I played a lot of sports in high school when I was growing up. I like hiking, I like rock climbing and skiing. So pretty much anything outside, I'll find any excuse to be in the mountains. So naturally my uh, hobbies reflect that. So for, for work, um, ever since I was a little kid, I've always liked animals. Um, so when I got to my freshman year of high school, I started working on a horse ranch. And uh, more recently, I was promoted to the barn manager at the ranch. So in my off tracks, I work as a barn manager. So that's pretty fun. Um, so a story, story that I can tell all of you about when I wasn't good at something um, was when I first started to learn how to fly fish. My uncle, um, all the way, I don't know, when I was growing up, he was really good at fly fishing. And every time I went camping with him, I would just normal fish with like a rod reel next to him. He'd always catch more fish than I would. And um, I liked catching fish. So I got mad every time he caught a fish because he was catching more than I was. So my junior year, in between my junior year and my senior year of high school, I asked him to teach me how to fly fish. So I bought my own fly rod, um, bought flies. And it, I mean, you have to have waders. And it, it's a pretty expensive hobby. So I bought all the gear that I needed and I asked him to help me learn how to fly fish. So he took me out, um, taught me how to cast a little bit in my front yard before he even went. And um, he uh, spent the whole day with me He's super patient. He taught me how to cast and, and where, what to look for and where to put my fly at. Um, I could tell sometimes he was getting kind of frustrated because I wasn't good at it. But um, anyways, I, I, that first day I didn't catch any fish. And I was kind of disgruntled because he was catching fish right next to me. And I didn't know why I wasn't catching fish, probably because I sucked at it then. But um, I spent the last four years um, every summer and every spring and every fall um, fly fishing in my free time. And uh, I love it. I've, I've done it a lot and um, I spent a lot of money on broken equipment, um, on lots of lost, I lose my flies all the time and they're expensive to replace. Um, I've actually learned how to tie my own flies. So that's helped a lot um, in my learning curve. Um, but I've, I've, spent a lot of time grinding away and um, being dedicated to, to learning how to do it. So um, that's something that I'm proud of is that I, I wasn't good at it at first. I didn't even like it at first, but I promised myself that I was gonna, gonna get better at it because I spent all this money on this gear that um, I had to use. So I got good at it and, and now I love it. I, I do it all the time. So um, last question is if I had a friend that struggled in school, um, I would tell them that I struggle too. I struggle all the time um, with school and uh, it's not my favorite thing, but it's something that I have to do. Um, so I struggle through it and I uh, work hard and uh, try to get better every day. Um, when I was a kid, I was, I was pretty, I don't know, I was pretty good at like math and science and everything. And I used to think the kids that weren't as good as me were just not very smart. But as I got older, I realized that um, I was kind of resting on my laurels. I, things came easily to me, like when I was younger. Um, as I got into middle school and high school, I realized things you know, get harder and there's always someone smarter than you. And eventually I was um, struggling in, in some of my classes that normally I would be doing pretty good in. So like my math classes and my science classes, I, was, I wasn't doing very well in. And I realized that I needed to learn how to study. It's one thing I didn't learn how to do when I was younger because everything kind of came naturally. But um, I learned how to study in middle school and high school. And I was able to um, kind of overcome the, the hardships I had. Um, and it wasn't easy. And it's still not easy. I still i am not perfect and I'm not good at everything. But um, I try. And I've learned. That's probably the most valuable thing I've learned from working on a horse ranch and all my hobbies is that I, I realize that I'm not good at everything, but um, through trying over and over again and not giving up, I can, I can do anything. So 
I think that's what I would say to somebody who's maybe struggling or discouraged in school. Um, or if they weren't understanding a concept, I would say that I struggle too, and uh, I'm not ashamed about it. But um, anyways, I'm excited to start this class. I've, I've been looking forward to it. Um, it's probably going to be hard, but I'm, I'm ready for it. So that's me.